Well, Billy, um, undone by a, a really quick start by Manchester City this evening. Yeah, um, in recent games we've been starting really well and we were obviously that was the plan again tonight and yeah, it was poor from us. We we really, really disappointed. Um, we obviously wanted to, to try and get something tonight. Sunderland come here and did well and we were positive that we could um, do the same. And yeah, yeah, it was a really, really poor start. Um, and to give to, to give these guys a 2-0 head start, it was always going to be a hard night. Could have been different though, at 1-0 when you uh, you got down the right-hand side, pulled the ball back for Matty. It was a pretty, pretty tight call for offside, I think. Well, yeah, um, me and Matty just spoke about that before. I, um, I, I went for the first pass with Ceci and he, he took an extra touch, then played it. And yeah, I, I, I didn't know whether I was half a yard offside or five yards offside, but I thought, I was just, I was just very surprised, to be honest. Um, but yeah, no, like you say, that, that was um, a good chance and uh, and we even had some other half chances as well. I know I, I, I crossed one in for Ceci and he's took it first time and on another day maybe we, we might have turned it around there, um, but we just hope we get those those half chances and that little bit of luck and convert those chances in the upcoming games. At 2-0 at a, a place like this you do start to, to wonder if it's going to be a long evening, but fought back well and a great goal from Graham. Yeah, fantastic goal, yeah. Um, no, I'm pleased with Dozzy, he, he obviously scored a couple of goals now when he's been in the team and he's um, he works his, he works hard to get in the box and yeah he's caused problems by breaking into the box and scoring those goals and yeah hopefully he can carry on that for the rest of the season now and get some more and yeah yeah, yeah we gave we gave ourselves a chance um, I think that when there's always one goal in it you always give yourself a chance and then to concede off a set play was even more disappointing and um, you're playing against a great team who are going to create chances with um, the footballers they've got and the movement and the, the clever play around the edge of the box so to concede from a the corner was really, really disappointing again. I felt we learned a fair bit from, from Tottenham because second half, we played as much in their half as they did in ours. Yeah, yeah, no, we um, we were positive. We obviously, obviously we wanted to keep a good shape and, and attack from there. And yeah, we had some good balls in there. And like I said, on another night, maybe we'd have got another one and put them right under the cost towards the end, but it wasn't to be. Um, but like I say, we, we, we knew that we, on a, on a night like tonight, when you go 2-0 down, it could, I imagine everyone looking in might have thought the floodgates would open, but no, we, we've stayed solid and went from there. But like I say, to start off with giving these guys a two-goal lead, it's always, always going to be a hard night. For yourself, first game back for uh, after a couple of months layoff, Manchester yeah. City is a pretty tough place to start. No, it's a massive confidence boost, personally. Um, really, really nervous before the game. You're always nervous of you. You just hope your hamstring's OK. You've done everything. I've done all the strengthening. I've worked hard in the gym. I've worked hard in training, doing extra running, the rest of it. And obviously under 21 game as well. The only way you get the real test is going into a game. So even though I knew I ticked all the boxes, I was still obviously a little bit nervous before the game. But no, I felt good going into it. And I'm really, really confident after, obviously during the game and happy to get through it. And hopefully I'll just get stronger and stronger now and play well from now to the end of the season and get some good wins. Shared the second half with Manchester City. That's a good confidence boost going into to Saturday's game with West Ham. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, like I said, at this point in the season, um, we can't dwell on games too much because we can't dwell on games and take them into the next game. So we're just going to forget about tonight now and take any positives we've got from tonight and take them into the game Saturday, which we know is a massive game at home. I'm sure the fans are going to be right behind us again like they have been at home. And um, yeah, like I say, learn from our mistakes tonight, take them into Saturday and hopefully get a good win.